Доброго дня, буна зіва, good afternoon. I just greeted you in Ukrainian and in Romanian as I'm standing here in Sigit at one of the main crossing borders between Romania and Ukraine. And actually you could see Ukraine right there. And between Ukrainian and Romanian border there is a bridge. On both sides of that bridge there are toys for the Ukrainian children who are crossing the border. And every day Romanian volunteers are bringing new toys to meet Ukrainian children. The most vulnerable families with children, they cross the border by foot. And once they cross the border, they go straight to the Blue Dot Center. center. Thousands of families with children have passed through this center and used the services. So let me walk you through the center step by step as each family with child is following. So when they arrive, they go to psychosocial services. Then there are four points of registration and each of these points offers the same services. Health and registration, accommodation, transport, uh, legal services and information. Cuckoo. It was just opening and somebody took my hand, you know? We were talking to the family with mother with two children and one of the, the smallest son had birthday today. So we had a birthday celebration at the Blue Dot and yeah, we hope they will arrive to their final destination safely. <laughs> it is late at night, it has been a long day. You could see the Blue Dot Center is still open. It is open 24 seven for all the families and children arriving from Ukraine and they're ready to provide all necessary services. More Blue Dot Centers will be opened in the different cities and countries along the migration road. And the main purpose of the Blue Dot Centers is to ensure that all children are protected, are monitored, they are traced and they are safe at every step of their destination, particularly the most vulnerable children. Now we talk of 1.4 million children as refugees, numbers can be overwhelming. 1.4 million children in two weeks, that's about one a second. There's one Ukrainian child who would be at school right now who instead has become a refugee, one a second. And across the border, well, 2.8 million refugees across this border, 1.4 million children, as we say, one a second. So we're seeing an, an influx that is unprecedented uh, in Europe since World War II. And then you see UNICEF responding to that 